So hey guys welcome back in Kodimanga Wachi and another part of our basically the dead zone BDT9 and in this part I already fixed some AI okay and here is this some. So what I did now that on our first of all when we are seeing the pawn it's been that our when our AI is seeing us so I just set now our pair reference data in this variable and if this is false so I set it here that uh, the empty okay if you set like this variables like this so it will be set it to empty okay so now at the event tick uh, with the sequence uh, i add a new sequence that is evaluated it's been our first person character is evaluated or not if this is evaluated so i set the actor rotation and other stuff and from the target i set our basically first person characters and the from look at rotation i set also my first person character okay so basically there is so at up i just change some here that uh from begin play i create a sequence with that sequence i create another sequence and this sequence will be verifying that r uh now seeing us it's been the ai seeing us if this falls so he can pick a random location by destination get a random uh reachable points with a get actor location so with that if it's success or delay it will be taking after the delay 0.2 milliseconds it will be do the same thing with loop life so just think that if it's now it's not seeing us or it's kind find more so how he execute this thing again so for executing this thing what i did basically i create a custom event at here and just see uh with now ai go with connected with this point so once this is done i call this custom event at here that now ai go okay so once this it means that if it fails to see us or casting us or chasing us so he'll be activating this thing and once this thing done it will be again pick a random locations okay so that is the basically for our ai so that's i upgrade it and just you know simply optimize some now with that let's uh basically fix our some ai cons that okay let's get, make this like this and not make this a cube let's make it a, like a actual ai okay so we can add a simple you know uh, shaper for making him so, some good mm, let's set it to 5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 okay it's looking now more nice okay like yeah it's looking nice okay now our way uh, look now more nice let's see how it's working oh actually we are getting damage oh my god no no oh yeah kill us as you can see he's running and he's trying to find a location and if at that time we he see us he will be try to chase us or kill us okay so yeah they are not seeing me oh he see us so as you can see trying to firing now and then we are dead so yeah i think that is enough and now because this thing is enough but as you can see uh, after then sometime it will be become failed okay some of ai become failed uh with activating so what will be do will be add a delay yes sir. so like that delay sorry i will tell bangla so d e l a y delay that is 0 0.2 milliseconds so i think it will be enough to load the all this stuff okay or 0.5 i think that is this time is enough for uh, activating the ais like a new ai let's try to kill him yes okay now it will be do loop type oh we need gun ammo so as you can see it's uh, now quite enough good so the ai is now more good because this is all this stuff is done now let's uh, work on the sound system okay so because our game doesn't have any sounds so yeah it's not have any sounds we can add some sounds so let's go to our player data and so once we are firing at here so we can play sound to the at location so play sound to the at location <laughs> okay and for firing this sound i'll be adding i already have a sound uh, basically okay a basically m416 little sound so i can use this thing 
and because this is at here so I also need to get my arrow number one okay with the arrow at location so get location and can I with this thing now compile and save now let's try to play yeah yeah it's looking more nice very very nice so everything is guys good so now uh, because this thing is good now let's set up our basically the some more stuff like in our UI we also need to give user to basically uh, you know to visit us or because there's a basically a simple game nothing here okay so we don't need to add any privacy policy or other, other stuff for google play store okay now let's optimize our game basically so for optimizing on our game what you can add basically as you can see there's a lot of you know unnecessary stuff okay kind of like if you delete this thing it will be also make you some space kind of like this thing we don't need this bp mesh also like that destroy or uh, remove so at our fps so we don't need the blueprint so let's delete them so make sure once you are deleting these things some of maybe get uh, some problem okay so you must need to uh, know about that problems okay so let's delete this stuff okay so now let's go to texture animations and now let's open this thing and let's see that what is the basic that is 512 by 512 that is very nice so let's again say to because this is good okay now let's go to rifle and let's select all and now for getting this thing we'll be set it to action backer light or uh, not this one sorry that action Backer light that go to compress and let's set it to maximum 512 okay so we are basically changing our texture uh, qualities okay so it will be change our texture quality so make sure so let's save this all this stuff so it will be also take uh, make our you know game light size okay it's crash I'm not sure that why uh, because maybe we change lots of stuff maybe at the same time that's why not should be crash I'm not sure that I'm not sure that why it's to this stuff Five hundred and twelve. Yep. Okay. Go to rifle. Action. Properties. Compress method. And values and twelve. So it can take some time. Now let's save this stuff okay now our basically you can see, uh, see that our gun has been quality has been reduced some okay and uh, basically all the uh, stuff are now reduced let's go to rifle animations okay so because this is for rifle animation this is other stuff and uh, this is the first person so let's see that in our first person there's any data available or not so we can basically remove that so basically in a bullet so let's get our bullet to basically our player ui now we can basically also we need to what's this is basically map i think this is a basically our first person map yep this is our first person map so what you will do i will get this thing and transact to our basically content browser and now i can delete this thing okay save like this first person let's delete okay so also we don't need polygon strong so I'm deleting that I hope there's a nothing yeah there's a nothing okay now let's click on that project settings 
then maps and modes then there's a bit already set up so but as you can see for changing this thing we also need to make sure that our world details has a game mode so let's go to our uh, player data and let's here create a blueprint that call game mode okay game mode now we will simply drag it at here now double click and open and let's set here def default to our basically first person player okay compile and save now go to project settings apps and modes also set at here okay so it will be work 100% never will be get glitch okay everything is fixed now let's set a some randomly a uh, location for spawning like this uh, here here or uh, inside of this thing okay i'm just adding some random position so this in this random position we can spawn and get some you know cool cool stuff like we will get some view nothing else a bad position okay i think that is enough for let's see there's any bad position no not i hope there's a no bad position let's see there's a bad position you must need to check every of uh, spawn location okay yeah if everything is good as you can see that is now good okay now we'll be simply go to project settings now at our project settings what will we do basically go to gameplay uh, the packaging and at share development tool will be set to shipping set to always that fully rebuild distribution files generated okay make sure installer we don't need that let's click on this advanced settings and add here that come press cook only maps cooker okay so you need to just select this thing then go to black from just only set the uh, this one now let's go to target okay it's good now render that is good I'm just checking okay now let's go to Android before that make sure you set up the SDKs go to Android configuration now now let's set our game name that com dot bd and must need to set our API level to 30 and it should it inside of internal and let's give it to package in beta okay as uh, force to a small will be false then abb generated ams t4 it's if we build for this one it will be two so don't need to worry about other stuff so now we need to configuration now uh, enable google supports okay so now we need to generate our basically this key so for getting this key we need to basically go our documentation and if you need this thing okay basically so i'm just changing it to 20 to 50 here okay and this is basically our allies key name so uh, the this is our example key and basically uh, this is our generate let's set it to and keys to my new okay my new this is your basic allies key so now let me copy this thing save this thing now you need to run that cmd 
once you run cmd you need to just paste this command and enter so everything is okay you find the uh, a password so now add a password now enter now write the password now you need to give your first name then second then basically third one then city then state then country code and yes if everything okay so press y and enter and again you need to retype your password okay everything is done your key has been generated now why do you find you need to just open your file explorer c drive user slash user and here uh, the example key store simply cut and then you need to go to your fdx and then you need to go projects then basically your project then go to build android and paste it at here and make sure one more time copy this thing go to uh, dead zone then config and paste this at here okay now just click on rename and copy this thing and come to unreal engine then go to uh, settings and make sure you need to go to android and here you need to basically why is it here you need to basically play uh, your key name and then what is your allies key basically your allies key is opens and this is what you write at here my new it, this is basically a nice key so just go to project settings and paste it at here now add your password okay once you add now click on save this thing and before do everything you need must need to build the lights guys uh, make sure guys you don't forget to build the lights okay so then we can basically start exporting our game okay so once that uh, exporting is done so we'll be get uh, our everything what we need so as you can see this is now compiling the shaders and other stuff what we need to do okay because we already change up lots of stuff that's why so now we'll be simply then click on after then this lights will complete okay so we'll be simply click on the basically uh, files then android then multi xtc dxtc so it will be basically also if you need to reduct the size you must need to do that thing also okay so make sure so as you can see that is all the stuff has now built so uh, save this stuff okay once the everything saved now let's click on file and packaging android multi xtc dxtc now save where you want to export or in my case i'm just setting in a picture folder before that i'll let me uh, delete this stuff go to pictures and now simply paste okay so as you can see now it's r start running so it will be take some time to set up all this stuff so once that thing done i will be show you okay so we basically found our basically the size so next time i'll be show you